टोटल फिफ्टीन ट्रिलियन डॉलर प्लस इज मैनेज ग्लोबली यूजिंग एम एस सी आई इंडेक्सेज मॉर्गन स्टैंडली इज अ थर्ड लार्जेस्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंक इन द वर्ल्ड एट्टी नाइन ईयर इन एक्स आई अनाउंसेज चेंजेस इन टू दीज इंडेक्सेज फोर टाइम्स एन ईयर द करंट सेट ऑफ चेंजेस वॉज अनाउंस ऑन ट्वेल्थ ऑफ फेब्रवरी ग्लोबली इंक्लूडिंग फॉर इंडिया द चेंजेस इन इंडिया विल गो लाइव ऑन ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ फेब्रवरी एंड होपफुली बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू इवेल्युएट If this change will impact your portfolio in some manner, small, medium, large, good, bad. Also, this video aims at sharing with you the strategy that you can use this time as well as in future to possibly try and make some money or save from losses when MSCI announces these changes. I have divided the video into two parts. In the first part, which will last about just four minutes, I'll share the key strategy that you can use. to benefit from the msci index changes the remaining part of the video too will be very valuable for you if you go till the end the way msci index works at least in indian context is very simple they have three indian indexes small cap mid cap large cap a stock when tracked by msci and small it typically enters the small cap index if it becomes bigger over time it will be promoted to mid cap index at that stage it will be deleted from the small cap index and added to mid cap index similarly when the stock becomes even larger like for example tata motors became even larger recently they will be promoted to the large cap index msci and removed from the mid cap index so don't get confused if you see deletions in small cap and mid cap the problem is if the stock is being deleted however not being promoted to the next level at that stage the stock is an underperformer no longer being tracked by msci and that will lead to a huge fall in the stocks usually there is also an msci global index a lot of indian companies when they do really well they get promoted to global index also in that case lot of foreign flow comes into those equities because they are a part of the bigger global index and they don't need india specific funds to invest into them the other three indexes i talked about they need india specific funds now what happens typically around the rebalancing is msci will announce the changes those changes will be published in advance the general philosophy is on the day when these changes are applicable roughly towards last one hour most global and indian funds investing on those stocks will rebalance what that means is if the stock no longer is a part of the etf or the strategy the funds will exit it which means suppose a small cap has been excluded and not promoted to mid cap it will be butchered in the market it will be sold like anything if the stock is getting promoted then in general lot more funds may come in and there will be huge demand for the stock there may be a lot of block deals between etfs because their themes might be different so if an etf is just targeting small cap and the equity is promoted to mid cap then the small cap guy will exit because it no longer fits in the strategy they will buy something else and another mid cap guy whose strategy the stock fits into now they will take that equity and buy it now money making is not very easy which means that you can't just buy and sell on those days and make enormous amount of money people hedge a lot people buy in advance note most etfs and funds do the balancing on the last day itself however they do a lot of hedging specially using options markets which means even if the stock is very volatile they will not lose out retail people who don't realize it people who take trades in a different direction they will lose their shirt and i lost mine in the previous cycle typically you will observe that when an equity enters msci any index in that quarter it will start getting a lot of volumes towards the end date of the balancing the volumes will go high a lot and that stock in general starts enjoying a higher pe in the bigger scheme of things also around the balancing date the volumes for that stock as well as the fii dii volumes and the index volumes go through the sky this thursday could be exceptionally volatile for the simple reason that the monthly expiry will coincide with the msci changes and that will create huge 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 turbulence volumes volatility i believe that vix will go up very high as well on that day beware of thursday you could go wrong in any direction of the trade if you have not done the math correctly i can't advise you on what trade should take however take a cautious stand now let me quickly walk you through the changes that will get implemented on thursday before the close of hours which is 3:30 pm of india time in the global context the msci index has five additions bhel gmr airports nmdc pnb and union bank of india there are no deletions this time like i said earlier these stocks will now enjoy global funds investing in them
This is a published list by MSCI for the changes in the domestic small cap index for India. There are total 28 securities added in the small cap index and 12 have been removed. I'll not talk about all of them. However, do note that some of the deleted ones, for example, BHEL, Suzlon, they have been moved to the next level and hence are being deleted. The ones that are being deleted from the index but not going to move up will go down in value because there will be a lot of fund outflow from these stocks. There are a few more changes that I saw on Business Today website. I could not find them on MSCI website, so I'm just listing the screenshot here. So in terms of the domestic large cap, there are a few more additions. Trent, Tata Consumer, Power Finance, REC, Tata Power, Macrotech Developers, Tata Motors. All these are a part of the large cap index after the changes happen on 29th. So watch out for these large players on the impact that happens in them on 29th. I'll share the links of all the websites that I have referenced in the description box below. If you are seeing this concept for the first time, your question might be, what should I do now with two days to go? First of all, I'll leave the links of the previous changes and this time's changes in the description below. Go through those changes, check the graphs of those stocks once or twice. Previous time, what happened? Around the changes, after the changes. Then check the stocks which are impacted this time and see what stocks are in your portfolio. Take trades accordingly. Don't panic, don't sell or buy in bulk right now. It is your first time. Observe the changes and this is not going anywhere. The MSCI changes will happen every quarter. You have hopefully been in the stock market for years without knowing these changes probably. It's going to be okay. Yes, volatility will be high. Please expect that on Thursday. I will be very, very surprised if the markets are calm in the second half on Thursday. If you are unsure, please sit out. Don't take any trade. It will be very dangerous to do a speculation right now at this juncture because the stocks and the market could go either way because I believe a lot of action is controlled by bots who observe market patterns and they make retail investors lose wherever a majority will lose. Don't be in that majority. Let me quickly share one of my stories. Last quarter, 30th November was a date when the MSCI changes got implemented. I forgot to track those changes. Don't know how. I took trades against a stock called Power Finance Corporation and I shorted that stock in the futures market. Significantly large number of lots. I did not realize that it has been included in the index and there will be buying happening. On that day, I was traveling from Delhi to Hyderabad and the stock hit an upper circuit while I was in the flight. I was down by several lakh rupees on that day while I was in the flight with, with no clues what's happening around me. Just because I had shorted, considering the stock to be overvalued at that time, I expected it to correct. However, it went through an upper circuit leading to severe losses after which I quit futures market. I have personally been fascinated by the m &A journey of Morgan Stanley because I was in the middle of it in the year 2009 when Morgan Stanley acquired Smith Barney from Citibank where I managed the first project that went live across the combined activity from the South Ferry Station office in New York. Spent one month managing the entire project late nights in the New York office where I was probably the last person to leave the floor. Morgan Stanley is the third largest investment bank in the world. 89 years in existence. Over its existence, it has grown both organically and inorganically by acquiring a large number of companies. One of them is MSCI. MSCI owes its foundation to Capital International, a company which is probably five decades old. It was acquired by Morgan Stanley in the late 90s. That gave Morgan Stanley access to huge amount of research reports and proprietary algorithms, which was used to create a company called MSCI. In 2004, Morgan Stanley further acquired a company called Bara, which was merged with MSCI and this company was listed on the New York Stock Exchange. Today, MSCI specializes in a large number of indexes and many of them deals with emerging markets like India. Overall, MSCI's indexes are used to power a lot of fund strategies, including ETFs. Total $15 trillion plus is managed globally using MSCI indexes. Let me walk you through the MSCI index performance quickly. So the overall numbers for the MSCI India index are way, way better than the overall MSCI emerging market numbers. If you see, 
वन ईयर परफॉर्मेंस फॉर एम एस सी आई इंडिया हैज बीन थर्टी परसेंट एज ऑफ जनवरी थर्टी फर्स्ट टू जीरो टू फोर वेन दिस डेटा वॉज पब्लिश एम एस सी आई इमर्जिंग मार्केट मीन ऑयल हैज बीन नेगेटिव प्राइमरली बिकॉज ऑफ चाइना इम्पैक्ट ओवर फाइव ईयर्स इफ यू सी एम एस सी आई इंडिया हैज गिवन सिक्सटीन पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स परसेंट रिटर्न इमर्जिंग मार्केट हैव गिवन फोर पॉइंट फाइव सेवन परसेंट रिटर्न टेन ईयर अगेन इंडिया एम एस सी आई टेन ईयर अगेन एम एस सी आई इंडिया हैज गिवन फोर्टीन परसेंट रिटर्न इमर्जिंग मार्केट हैव गिवन सिक्स Since the inception part again, if you see 1994 onwards, MSCI India has given 12% return CAGR. Emerging markets have given 8.64%. That is why a lot of foreign funds, domestic funds follow the index. It is time tested and has given fantastic returns over decades. I'll again share the link of this report in the description box. MSCI announces changes into these indexes four times a year. These changes and the dates are known well in advance. About eight next dates are already known the current set of changes was announced on 12th of february globally including for india the changes in india will go live on 29th of february the next set of changes will be announced on 14th may and they will become applicable from 3rd of june however there is enough rumor in the market before 14th may also where that likely companies which will be excluded included will be known you can search on google and easily find out